new script editor was introduced with version 2009.3 of the experience. While it offers numerous features, we've continued to improve it by integrating our extra rich edit control as the main editing component in the script editor. This has enabled us to provide features such as line numbering and underlining of errors within your code. Several code-aware features have also been integrated using code extracted from our Code Rush and Refactor Pro products. These features are coming up in the version 2010 Volume 2 release, so let's see them in action. Here I have the Ribbon Report Designer application open. I click the Scripts button to switch to the script editor. The first thing you'll notice is that the editor now provides line numbering. The line numbers are displayed in the outside margin independently from your code. Let's go ahead and add some code. I'll select the main report object and create a new handler for its before print event. The event handler code is added and you can see that syntax highlighting is also provided by the editor. I'll paste in some more code. Notice that the word value is automatically detected to be within a property declaration and therefore a reserved word, hence the blue color of the text. Now if I use the word value as an integer variable, you can see that the editor is smart enough to tell the difference and keep the keyword in black. Please note that the code indentation here is not done automatically. It's indented in this case to make the method stand out. Let's add a namespace reference and paste the following code in the event handler. Some more examples of the syntax highlighting feature, the string values, as well as the comment. Matching brackets are now also highlighted. You can see that as I click on a bracket, the corresponding pair is highlighted. Now let's check my code using the validate button. There appears to be an error and the value in question has been underlined. The error here is that I've tried to assign a string value to an integer variable. Let's create a few more errors and validate again. So you can see that in addition to the errors list at the bottom of the window, each error is also underlined within the editor. I'll go ahead and correct these by changing the variable and property types to string and correct the typos. Validate again and everything is correct. Another code-aware feature in the new script editor is that existing event handlers are detected automatically based on their event signature. This means that they can be reused for other objects, bands, or reports. So for example, you can see that the before print event of report1 is assigned to the method I created earlier. Let's say I want to reuse the same method for the before print event of the detail band. I expand the scripts property collection and you can see the method is listed in the drop down box of the before print event. I can select it so the method is used for the before print event of both the report one object and the detail band of the report. Finally, the find and replace items have been added to the editor's context menu. I can easily invoke the find dialog box from the context menu and search for a specific keyword. I can invoke the replace dialog in the same manner to find and replace instances of a specified keyword. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.